Hello, Todd Bog here with Breaking the Stream, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium 5, the Enchanter playthrough. Uh, we've been having some uh, troubles here um, because of this army. I don't know if we have the answer to it right now, uh, mainly because of these wind powers. The storm powers are definitely a problem, and then she's got uh, charm of some sort, so that's not going to be good for us. Um question is, is it worth trying to go to the magic library? Eventually we'll get a spell that upgrades to that. Uh, but you know what? Let's actually fish for that. Use special powers. Uh, let's do this. Alright, we can create artifacts. Oh, and it's given us gem income now, so. Okay. Creates an artifact. Can be cast anywhere. Well, that's useful, so maybe we'll utilize that for sure. We just gotta wait uh, a few turns and we can do that. Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, at this point, let us... We're gonna just chill here and see what she does. Uh, we've got ourselves a decent army. We can take out the king's troops for sure. Uh, at a minor loss here, so... Take advantage of the scouting. What are you, the peddler? Okay. So, I still don't know if it's true, but someone did say that the peddlers will upgrade uh, villages to market villages or something along those lines, or hamlets. Um, I don't know if that's true, but if it is, that's kind of cool. Makes me want to maybe uh, ignore them, but uh, we'll see. All right, living bows did all the damage. I killed all six of them. Awesome. Um, I don't want to lock this army down. That is a fairy circle. I forget. For your clay golem, that is swamps and bogs. Okay. And I don't see any of those on the map still, huh? Would love to have a clay golem. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this coastal hamlet. Get some more resources going here. Um, you're going to continue your journey to that tower. I think it's time for us to bug out. Um, yeah, we'll go on to this and then we'll uh, convert that over to a wood golem for us. Alright, coastal hamlet. We destroyed them. Uh, 10 crossbowmen for 80 gold. That is pretty good, actually. Let's go ahead and drop them here. Um, we got a pretty good gem income. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. All told. Uh, 22 boars here, huh? It's a lot of boars, but uh, we're better. Um, and that's another ancient forest we can convert into an oak golem, so that's cool. Um... I really need this wood golem right now. I'm going to say no. I think the mobility will be more useful for now. We'll debate it later, though. Slowly getting that catapult into position. All right, battle in the ancient forest. We lost three dancing swords, but we killed all those boar. So, beautiful. All right, we'll go here. I could have been there, but it doesn't really change anything. I should have probably moved differently, but it's all right. Um, I can actually pick some of those up for this army. That may not be a bad idea. So, All right, we can only move one anyway, so let's go here. We'll overrun them. Beautiful. All right, scout. Well, you can only do that anyway, so... All right, what do we have here? Um... And we can use more dancing swords for sure. Um, and more bows. So let's take some of that, shall we? Um, might as well take the spearmen. Take the regular archers. And... Yeah, the crossbow as well. Let me just take him for myself. Transfer... Let's transfer all your troops as well. Just so we know what we have. Okay, good. Um, 
a fairly hodgepodge collection, but we do have the scout as well. Perfect. Um, we'll drop the scout here because eventually we'll come back for reinforcements or we'll send an army to pick up what's there. Um, so that'll be good. All right. Um, let's go ahead and just create a wood guard. Start reinforcing that front line as we're going into enemy territory. <clears throat> As well we'll get you guys both upgraded so you have enchanted sleep beautiful um, burst 25 sleep I love it um, fire resistance over winter ward yeah not really you've got enchanted sleep and indomitability over strength I think well over sleep actually so we'll do strength indomitability amazing burst five though that's the only tricky part. Um, okay, so yeah, two sets of sleep on this stack. Many, many, many useful things for sure. So, okay. Um, yeah, we'll see about creating our first artifact. All right, I was attacked in the old castle ruins. Oh, my werewolf's dead. Oh well. All right, Corgol. Let's go here. Transfer. All the troops. And I think you're gonna chill here for now. So Corgo, go ahead and sentry. Uh, let's see. You guys together. Goldeheim. Let's just create an artifact. Robe of Shadows. Okay, that's cool. Uh, ethereal and floating. So we give this to my lord. And uh, all of a sudden we're both ethereal and floating. Or well, both flat. Uh, Floating, at least, sorry. Um, I'd love to give it to one of these guys, but these guys only have the miscellaneous slot. I know it's pronounced miscellaneous, but uh, just an old habit from being a kid. All right, well, that was cool. So uh, Robo Shadows is not a bad item to have, but there are definitely better ones out there, and we're hoping to get some of those soon. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's a Bakamano mine there. That is gonna die to our army here. So let's go ahead and crush that and take that iron mine for ourselves. All right, so we're gonna view this. I should show off more of these fights anyway, so. All those bows, obliterating them. Oh man, they killed one of my guys, all right. So we lost two dancing swords to that, so. Lucky shots, guys. Lucky shots. Alright, uh, do I keep you alive? Uh, whatever. 29 units, stupid with the ballista. Uh, with what we've got, though, we can easily crush it. And that'll stop the king's troops from spawning, so let's do it. Um, even with floating on myself, huh? That snow took two movement. Oh, no, I probably just had less than full movement. Oh, that's not great. Uh, I don't know who it is, but uh, we lost six dancing swords. Uh, let's see. That's rough, but we, we won. So uh, 10 spearmen for 54 gold. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those. That's actually a really good value. Do that. Um... We'll leave four bows to defend there. Actually, we don't really need to leave that many bows, do we? Or any at all, because our wonderful friend Corrigal can transfer uh, some of those. So let's transfer that many bows. All right, let's move you guys out before I get distracted. There we go. Nope, still taking two movement points, even though I'm floating. Hmm. I guess that floating isn't working right. That's a shame. All right, transfer those guys. Oop. Just click there and come back. Sentry you up. All right, uh, you guys are good. All right, what do we got here? Oh, okay, it's the Hobmark crossbow. Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, Mark Graph player. Um, ooh, a lightning sphere. What other magic items are you giving me? All right, so dark magic level three is scary. 
Also, level three means there's some sort of library out there that can make him level three, or I have the knight boost dark magic. Okay. He's lost an eye, cast fear automatically in combat. Um, okay, so he's actually got only level two spells. That's good to know. Um, and then the lightning spear is really nice. So I think we want to crush him with what we've got. I think we'd be okay. Because we're at 70 units. Our units are better for the most part. It's just his casting that's problematic. But we have Enchanted Sleep. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's take a chance here. Milo and Arius, with your two Enchanted Sleeps, I think we'll do wonderful here. All right, so let's view it. Oh, what did you cast? Oh, you do have level three. Well, that's not good. Uh, Shades of Death gives weakness across the whole battlefield. Symbol of Dread does one to two damage across the burst 100. Uh, Lashes of Darkness as well. Okay, that's not good at all. Uh, yep, that eliminated a lot of our bows. If we could put him to sleep, but we're not hitting him. Oh, man. All right, we got him, but we lost everything. That sucks. All right, uh, yep. Lost all the living bows because he had that massive attack that did armor negating damage. So just anything it hit, it would delete. Same with the swords, so spears of course but um wood golems are still alive for what that's worth and we got the eye of night and enchanted spear okay all right well this army was great at least the wood golems still have a good amount of hit points left um let's give that lightning spear to you i was gonna say to somebody else but there is nobody else really so Okay, so we got a good iron mine there. Let's go ahead and... Okay, cool. Uh, 30 units there. Ballista. We can pretty much take that. And we'll go here. Alright. I don't think you'll do what people said you'll do, but... Eh, what are you going to do? Alright. Oh, you, you're cursed... And you lost an eye. Uh, that sucks. So, Cursed increases chance of receiving afflic uh, afflictions. There you go. That's how you pronounce it. So, that means that um, he'll eventually become pretty worthless as anything other than a hit point sink. So, um, all right. We're going to... Okay. There's nothing there. All right. At least now I know. All right. Corgol... Bring the swords, the row of bows, and the crossbows. All right. And you can reinforce this line so we don't have to double reinforce there. All right. Scout. That'd be nice. Um, so we've got a lot of gold. Um, I think pretty soon... We're going to go ahead and upgrade uh, someone else to level 3, or maybe we'll fish for more. Um, let's go here, actually. Godheim. Let's go ahead and uh, do another ritual. All right, so there we go. Magic Library, Magic Academy. So there's got to be a Magic Academy somewhere out there if they got a level 3, which is useful. Um, so this will basically eat up the library. Um... Uh, let's see, one of the Enchanter's Metal Golems. Uh, so you have to actually have a Metal Golem first. Okay. Uh, I've never done this before. So library takes charge of its Metal Vessel, will continue to serve the Enchanter as a Mage Commander of his Golem armies. No longer mindless, but it does not sleep and is yet to encounter fear. Is able to cast Metal Arcana depending on its Golem Vessel's body. So that is really cool. Um, let's see... 
We'll go ahead and use your special powers to create a wood golem. Okay. Do that. We're good there. Uh, let's use your special powers to create a wood golem. Alright. You guys are chill. You're chill. And then we'll be up to strength again. Alright, that's probably a fearsome army, I bet. No! Okay, that is trash tier, but uh, better than what we've got right now, so. Uh, we'll go here. You're going to come here. And you're going to transfer all to you. So Milo, your army's back up to snuff. I'm going to probably take this iron mine back, but that's fine. Um, oh, I need to come get that ancient forest too, so. Okay. So we'll grab you for now. No, we won't, actually. Corgol, run back. And there's that other army. That's the one I gotta be worried about. Probably stronger now, 91 units. Looks like they took some damage, but this line here is just impossible for me to deal with right now with what I got. Not until I get some better golems, for sure. Um, 74 units. I guess we will have to crush ya. Uh, that front line will basically hold them back. Are you a level 2? Okay. And you've got yourself a Bakana Neko, which is Garnet Sorcery. That's fiery magic. Um, those turtles will hold up, but they're not going to hold up too long. So, what can we do here, though? Let us be smart. Okay. First, you guys... A shallow sea. Dang it. I was hoping for a lake. Still haven't seen any swamp. Oh, there's a swamp. Okay, good. I want those clay golems. Gosh darn it. Okay. Um, all right. Let's not get too smart here. Let's just crash in. And yeah, that front line will do wonders. They don't have much in the way of archery um, <clears throat> compared to us anyways. So we'll, uh, we'll make short work of them. Let's just hope their spell casting isn't super crazy here. Um, all right. All right, battle in Dead Forest. Oof. Lost a lot of living bows, which tells me he had some sort of area effect. Stormwind. Yep. Dang it. Bastards. He's already got a second affliction, never healing wound. How did they stun him? He's entangled. Really? Well, strength negates, so, I mean, with the strength of nine, he should be able to break out of it when he starts, but... Yeah, I don't know why we don't do that right away. It's such a useful ability. And, of course, he did the blizzard. That's what killed all my stuff. So that's armor negating damage. That's stupid. Bastard. Killed a lot of firepower right there in one go. Um, yeah, so our archery's down to just our human troops, basically. Um, at this point, we may need to double up. Let's just head there. I want that clay golem. But I also don't want to die. Ah, uh, fine. Alright. Let's go ahead and transfer up. I wish it wasn't in this terrain. It's hard to tell what I've got. Uh, but let's grab all the bows from them. And we'll grab a row of swords as well. Alright. At this point, Corrigal, you need to probably head back. Yeah, we did kind of deplete the walls, didn't we? All right, we're going to head back and we're going to pick up what's back here. Which should be quite a lot. Yeah. All right. Okay. She split her army. That's interesting. Doesn't help us right now, but um, let's go ahead and create the oak golem. Perfect. Uh, 
you guys, what do you have under your, yeah, you got a decent, decent enough force that you can start running back to replenish. Um, and you guys will chill. Mm, that is a nice front line. If they stop having area effect spells like that, uh, we'd be in great shape, but uh, nope. Not our luck. God, I hope they don't take my mines. That's going to be annoying. Uh, let's see. We can get some spearmen. Uh, we better be better off getting them here for now. I gotta keep an eye out for captain and other leader type uh, recruits. Okay, Ele Enchanter's Apprentice, all right, beautiful. All right, less Tengu there, that's good. Um, still a lot of them though. The front line's not great either because these guys throw fire, which is a range three anywhere. Um, she's got the witchery still, so that's the one I'm worried about, so. So we're gonna ignore her. These guys, though, let's let's go ahead and head that way. You're coming across. Uh, we're gonna go and take her stuff. I think. Oh, we can't because got a helm has got to wait another turn. So, um, do I turn you into a level three caster? That's the question. Slumbering Army, Army of Flames, those are both great. Hmm. Do it. Screw it. Alright, so we can create all the same ones now. Uh, and vulnerability, that is fantastic. Um, so, we'll get rid of regular Fire Shield and go with that. Um, ah, see, Winter Ward would have worked in that particular case, but all right. That's good. So we've got some great powers. Uh, is this the one that I want to kill? That's the question. You are Chunari. You've got Garnet Sorcery. Okay. No, you're not anything special, but I could kill you and get rid of you. That is not as many as there was before, but... That irks me. Cursed my guy. All right, well, we can move. So the question is, do we feel confident enough to crush this? And I don't think we do. Again, if it wasn't for the range of eight on that, um, I'd feel stronger about it. Uh, these guys banish. That's all. And the turtles are just resilient with their two armor. Hmm. Oh, and they wrestle. That's how I got entangled, by the way. Um, wrestle. Stunned. Um, and then the demons are interesting. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but uh, when they die, they actually turn into a ghost version of themselves, and they'll continue fighting. And if you don't kill both forms, then they uh, can come back. So, um, you know what? I'm guessing there's more here because they came from over there and came to here. So let us kill this. Yeah, there it is. More. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll probably bounce over to here and just steal their stuff. They're going to steal my mine more than likely. All right. Um, save the gold for now bring them back so that we can yeah okay so we killed them the oak golem got the chunari so garnet sorcery blood boil doesn't work on lifeless beings pain doesn't affect lifeless beings guess what uh, these guys are lifeless so put her to sleep so she hit the one thing she could, which was the, uh, 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 what do you call it? The Spearman, so. All right, this is 10 units, so those are Tengu. We can kill those. 
But we're going to demonstrate here while we do that uh, how effective that can be. Ooh, silver mine up here. That we want to take. Um, coal mine as well, so that'll be a, a useful detour for us while we get the gold up. Um, so, since he is almost home and can bring those, why don't you guys just start converting the local populace, huh? Milo, create a wood column. And you know what we'll do, Arius, let's transfer three wood golems and those swords. And you can move this way. Oh, no, no. This way, and we can double up on the wood golem creation. Yeah, you took my mind. All right, we lost two dancing swords and an archer, so we'll show you what this looks like here. So, all those wins. Okay, wasn't as bad. Uh, let me view it one more time, see what she got. Fire shield, that's useful for them in flames. Okay, so weak spell, but uh, since it does extra damage to my wood guys, it's a good thing for them to have. So, All right, so we crushed that. Uh, we can definitely crush that, and we have the movement to do so. What? Oh, because you have an army with you. Dang it transfer all all right well let's we'll crush this he flies so i could have gotten this and attacked but i guess not in this particular case all right so milo you're gonna come here you are gonna go ahead and create the wood column there okay let's transfer all of those Come back. And in this tower, what can we get? Uh, the 10 crossbowmen are fantastic. So we'll do that, and we'll actually hire a captain back here. Narek. All right, Narek. Go ahead and take the Fort Righteous there. And... All right, battle in a port. We lost one dancing sword, but we killed all five of them. 10 spearmen for 60 gold, huh? I don't have that. That would have been great, though. What affliction do I have? I lost an eye. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. I can create a couple artifacts. Well, I can create one. That may not be a bad idea. Let's, uh... Let's switch around these things here, as a matter of fact. Um, give that to you. Switch that to me. Um, why? Oh, I have the army with you. I'm an idiot. Okay. We'll do that. See, the robe works. Oh, it's because of the army. I, I, I should really be thinking this through. Okay. Well, regardless, uh, so the robe worked. It, you actually float properly. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, Gotaheim, let's go ahead and create an artifact. Why not? Faithful. That is a sword, I believe. And it gives lucky. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, and we want it on you so that you can do your thing. Perfect. Okay. Well... Not the most efficient use, but darn it, I wanted to use my special things. Oh, don't have the gold for the golems. Um, he'll chill there. He'll go there. You're going to come back eventually, and you're going to slowly move that army back. Now, if we could give floating to uh, my captain, um, that would help, because the entire army he's bringing is floating. So, uh, Let's go and crush this. All right, we got the iron mine back under our control. Let's see. So we have enough gold to go ahead and create our wood golems. Okay. 
And you can go here and sentry for now. And you're just going to keep your butt moving. Alright. So, Gottelheim. Oh, there's the big army I was worried about. It's getting bigger. Uh, so much junk to worry about. Alright. Oh, cool. That was the spider thicket. I guess we used that to, to create a wood golem. So, hmm, nice. I really want to kill you. I think we should. Um, yeah, we can join up and kill. Let's do that. Okay. So we'll crash. Join up. Ultimately, you're bringing over their supplement, so you can go and drop that off, and then we'll see where you're at. Okay, battle in Dead Forest. We lost the Dancing Sword, but we killed the Peddler, and we got ourselves 30 coin and 10 iron, so not great, but I'm just tired of that thing anyways. Okay. That is a different faction again. What was the... Orange Stenobor. So down to three opponents um, all right well let's just be smart here and transfer all and then Corrigal you'll uh, book it back home as that goes all right uh, there's that swamp I want to go get a clay golem She's going to retake all of this, but I just, I can't take this out. Not with those guys in the back. Especially these guys here with their Storm Magic level 1. Lightning uh, is pretty powerful, and they've got four of those now, so. Uh, I need an answer to that army. Alright, we're going to head down to this swamp. Ooh, Frozen Lake will work too. That'll be a nice ice golem. Man. That's a pretty efficient move on their part. Not used to that. Uh, let's see. We're just going to jump onto this. Oh, there's another one down there, too. Sweet. Uh, let's see. You guys are buffed up now. Still not a match for anything with serious firepower, but... Yep. Bounce back. How are we doing here? Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, Summer's here. Uh, let's see, Gottelheim. Why don't you go ahead and create a Clay Golem? Alright, so Clay Golem um, is one armor, 68 hit points, but that regeneration, 5%. Um, that's huge, because at the end of every fight, it'll heal up to full, so it'll be at a full 68 hit points for each fight. Um, so those are uh, definitely worth their weight in uh, gold and iron, as it were, since that's what we're spending to get them. Um, over here, do I continue my focus on this area here, or do I go and explore a new area? I could finish taking this stuff over. may not be a bad idea. Let's do that. Um... I'm going to go home, and I think we're going to go ahead and call it after this video here. Or after this turn here, that's what I meant to say. Alright, so... Not use... Or not worth it to put any troops here to defend, because... Again, that's how powerful that stuff is. Ooh, so there's an iron mine here with a bunch of dwarves. Um, which we should be able to knock out, since we have the two... Uh, big boys there and that would get us access to an iron mine knock out a Dabala so there's no dwarves running around I think we might just do that so all right as I say that um, all right we'll do one more turn because I forgot that's what we're gonna do and yeah, we took the port as expected Chanter's Apprentice and Ten Swordsmen so let's go ahead and get those before we forget just making sure there isn't a better spot for him. Uh, the Enchanter's Apprentice I want in this tower here. And might as well grab the Ten Swordsman there. 
All right. And then what do you got? Create mimic. Animate sword. Grab gargoyle. Gargoyles may not be a bad idea at this point with the iron we've got. So we'll create some of these and see what we get. And I'll show them off and then we'll go ahead and call it here. So gargoyles do three attacks, useful against horde troops. They have three armor though, and they have 11 hit points. They're pierce and slash resistant. Uh, so they're gonna be very hard to take down. They're also uh, fire and cold resistant, poison resistant. Um, they are stationary. Is that new? I thought gargoyles could be used on the attack, but if not, let's uh, stop that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and call it here. I'll do some more thinking on how I want to use this enchanter, and we'll go from there. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.